This video is going to be about what I would consider, uh, you know, the, an aspect of painting or creating art that's really more about picture making. Now, what I mean by that is where uh, a scene is put together and it's composited, you know, into something that's more comprehensive and maybe a little bit more dynamic just because it's assembled, you know. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll on a clip here that I, I, that I assembled <laughs> so that I could take and share a peek behind the scenes of my process. So let's dive in. Okay, so a little housekeeping. First of all, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use Photoshop. <laughs> I'm going to be using Photoshop. And you're going to see me, uh, you know, kind of walk you through various steps that I employ to, you know, uh, put together references and so forth, you know. Uh, and again, Photoshop's part of that. But it's, it's really not going to be to train you on how to use Photoshop. There are plenty of resources online that you can use uh, to, to learn Photoshop. And I will be talking about some of the tools I use and so forth in the process, but on the other hand, it's just not going to be a comprehensive tutorial on how I used Photoshop to pull this off. Again, you, uh, you know, it, it's stuff that you, if you don't know already, you can go online and learn how. Okay, now, secondly, uh, I used to do, this is really about building the information that can be used to create the finished art. And what you see here on the screen in front of you is what Norman Rockwell used to do. And these were preliminary roughs, and some don't look very rough. They look pretty fabulous. But the bottom line is that these were preliminary, this, these were preliminary steps or steps on the way to making the painting, which is about what's going to follow here when I uh, get off this page here. And so they, uh, it's, it's about problem solving. It's about locating this guy here, and it's about putting the mom here and the daughter and and the two in the back of this uh, car and a rumble seat and so forth and that and these two guys and the attitude and putting the this uh, here and, and this here and so forth and doing all this and the dog down here in the corner and on and on it goes. So this is really, this is put together to solve the problems of composition and design and uh, of course in, in drawing as well, you know, on the way to all that. So, okay, so there's there's Norman Rockwell, and uh, again, I used to, well, I used to take and use this stuff. In fact, this uh, architect's detail paper that was used by Norman Rockwell was tough. You just about couldn't burn through that with a with an eraser. You can see he used to erase up. Well, he used an eraser up here and some other places. But the reason why he used architect's de detail paper, and again, I did as well, is because it was so stinking tough. And that's why these are all kind of yellowed like this because the uh, architect's detail paper uh, that we both used was yellow. Okay, so now we're going to move right into the, the, uh, what's really what the video is, uh, I would say, about. And here we're going to start out with this uh, cowboy that I've got coming down the hill. And this is a 1930s scene that I'm putting together. And, and this is a shot from a bunch of shots that I took that day. And there's a lot that I like about this. It's, it was my, fa I'll just call it my favorite shot that I picked out of the series that were taken as I had him come down in this uh, area that I would picked. You know, I would like the flow of the boulders here. I like this, how this leads up, uh, back up into the picture plane and so forth, this other kind of flow or, uh, opening in the, in the sage and so forth that shows the rocks. And so anyway, I like, I like all that. And he's got the right tack on. He didn't have the right hat on, which I'll be fixing later. But uh, he's got the tapaderos, the high back saddle, and he's got the right bridle. and. Uh, just all the stuff is, is right with, uh, with this thing. And uh, so it's, it's really a, a great reference to begin with. And so now we're going to go ahead and add to it, though. We're going to go ahead and add, I've got this other guy here. Uh, he's really, uh, he's got the right kind of hat on, and uh, he's got all the right gear. He folded up, he rolled up his uh, pant legs here, and he's got the right, he's got tapered arrows, the right bit, and bridle, and high back saddle, blah, 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 all the same stuff. So... Uh, he's in great shape for me, and I had him uh, standing over here, and I took some shots of him. And so now we're going to go ahead and put the two together. And he's been reduced in size so that uh, you can see the distance. You can see the size of the horse's head here as opposed to the size of the horse's head here. Same thing with the size of his head as opposed to the size of his head. 
and so forth. And this has all been, of course, done for perspective. And uh, but all this all this foreground that was initially a part of this guy's scene is in place now. It's 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 all there for me. It's just this guy's been added in. And so now the next step is going to be where. I begin to change things. And I'm going to cycle back and forth a time or two just so you can kind of see what just happened. This is, a, I, this rock is, I actually went ahead and painted in some of this with the paint tool uh, just to kind of give me an idea what a, the rock would look at, look like without all the sage kind of half covering it. And then uh, there have been some darks put in here using the, uh, the, the burn tool. There's a dodge and burn uh, tool, the tools that are actually a part of the same thing that uh, actually photographers, uh, you know, when the film was being developed, the uh, people that, developed, that were developing the film could dodge and burn, just like uh, you can do in Photoshop. So anyway, that's, that's kind of what went on here. Also, you can see this is lighter, so this reads better. You can actually look back in here, and you can see a lot better. You can see the top of the arrows here better. You can see his chaps and uh, the strings on the chaps and so forth, you know, and back in here. This just reads a lot better more like what you would see if you're looking at it with your own eyes. Okay, so that's going on, and I've muted this. I didn't like that. I really wanted to kind of close this corner off. So all that's going on, and I'm gonna, let's see if I'll cycle back and forth like I said I would. And you can see the change. Watch his hat here, watch his boulder here, watch this, and you'll see these darks in here and so forth, and we're gonna show you where that has changed. I've got rid, gotten rid of some of the uh, outline on the horse here too. It'll look weird. So now we're going to go ahead and see if I can get this to work. Oh, there we go. I put some clouds in. The uh, I wanted to close this corner off here, and I wanted to again bring more balance. <clears throat> you know, I've got all this this diagonal, uh, you know, heading down this way. The horse's head again helped me over here but uh, I just needed more. And so I went ahead and painted these clouds in. And this was done on a Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, Wacom tablet. And I just digitally painted these in, just made up the clouds and put them in. And so that helped the design, this composition. Now I've got something over here that's bringing balance, bringing balance this way to this large diagonal thrust of the, the design heading this way. So this is pretty much the the reference, you know, to step into the painting. Now that said, there's a there's another thing I'm going to show you here that I do, and that's uh, that's where I go ahead and uh, try to put together even more information to help me pull this off. This is you can actually see uh, there's really this is all grainy and uh, hard to understand. You know what's going on with this guy's uh, face back in this. Uh, of course, he's he's a bit small here. The painting itself is small. The painting itself is a 16 by 20, not that big. And so, of course, his face is going to be correspondingly small. And I, but I needed to still understand the shape so that I could try and uh, paint these planes on his uh, head and so and on his face. And so I went ahead, and this is another uh, a sorrow head available. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. But this is, I went ahead and took this uh, head, <laughs> put a cowboy hat on it, and lit it up just to help me understand, you know, here's this light coming from underneath, here's the top of this uh, cheekbone coming right here, and so forth, and it just really helped me understand what's going on with, with this guy as I was going to be painting him. Had a friend go ahead and pose their hands like this so I could get a better idea about the makeup of the hands and so forth, the anatomy of the hands. I did all that, and so that is, that is this. We're gonna go clockwise on this. So the next one over here, I went ahead and uh, built an armature and sculpted out this horse's head so that I could take and understand the lighting uh, actually on both these horses' heads. So uh, you can actually see again, I went ahead just like uh, uh, this, this mannequin up here. Uh, I went ahead and lit this up uh, similarly to this and then I could see the reflected light on the jaw and uh, on the uh, upper lip and lower lip and on and on it goes and so and you can see the light striking the top of the nostril here just like over here and so that really helped me as I tried to go ahead and paint this horse's head and so we're gonna go ahead and show you that and then uh, off to this guy right here 
this is, uh, even after uh, dodging back in here, trying to lighten this up, I, I, I just couldn't read what was going on with the horse's chest and forelegs, the front legs and so forth, and the, the neck and all that. It just didn't, uh, I wasn't satisfied with the amount of information I had, so I went ahead and had my wife, this is my horse, <laughs> got my horse right here. And so this is my horse being led down a hill, and you can see all the reflected light coming up in here, and you got the, uh, here's the shoulder muscle and the shoulder blade and the neck muscle right here and so forth, and you can kind of see all this. And that, the uh, plan here is to have that uh, help me as I take and render this part of the, paint this part of the horse. So that is this. It's not help. It's not working. Okay, now I've got same thing over here. I've got this uh, horse. This horse. Uh, uh, this, of course, this is my sculpture. Is the attitude has been put uh, in the same way that or the same uh, angle and what have you of this right here. Same thing. I've got this all lit up. This is rim lit, and I've got this uh, reflected lights and so forth here from underneath, and that helps me read what's going on there. Okay, and the last one here. The last one here, I didn't like his uh, arm and hand. And uh, so I went ahead and had, this is an artist friend of mine, I had him pose for me and uh, went ahead and I like this uh, kind of a relaxed, casual pose of his hand and his uh, arms in a little better spot. And so I went ahead and had that uh, put up here so that I could take and also refer to that uh, while I was doing the painting. And so that is that right there. Okay, so there you go. So these are, so you got the core reference. It was all put together the best that I knew how. And then I went ahead and put these other uh, collages in a way. I mean, that's what these three are. But uh, anyway, put these other references together to help me. It all, they're all at, they all add up to become a group of references to create this. And so you can see, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I like this right here. Again, this kind of, uh, leads the eye up in. Same thing here. And uh, you can see the clouds and all the rest of the stuff. And you can actually see some uh, uh, warms and cools up in the sky. And uh, a lot of this was done, a lot of this stuff over in here was done with, of course there's brushwork in here, broken brushwork, but there's also palette knife. And so I went ahead and used the palette knife on a lot of this, which uh, worked great. Palette knife works great for doing uh, sage and things like this, you know, and getting that, uh, kind of happy accident random look, you know, that is so, uh, looks so great, you know, when you're doing the landscapes like this. One, one other thing here too, I want to mention quickly, uh, of course you can see how light all this is, and you can see how this has been painted with the help of that other reference and so forth, and the cinch and all the rest of the stuff that's in here, and you can see his arm. But one other thing I wanted to mention is you can see how much lighter this horse is back in here. As I was painting this, I needed to push him back. I needed some atmosphere between the two horses and so I went ahead and put some recession in here by raising the value of this horse right here and pushing him backwards uh, with that aerial recession and uh, by lightening him up. So anyway, that's it. I, I hope this helps. Uh, my name is Chris Mummert and I want to thank you for watching.